Yeah. Let yourself feel those emotions of rage coming up, right? Yeah. And, and a lot of this suppression that's happening in the body and the ankles, the ankles and feet and legs, we often push things way, way, way down. And what I've found is I had huge amounts of pain in my legs, so much so that I could work out physically. So there was a time period in my life when I did weights and I worked out my upper body went, you know, like, like big and then and my legs stayed the same size they are now, quite small and, and, and nothing changed in my legs because there was just so much emotions in my legs that my body couldn't even recover from them physically. Yeah. Yeah. And just get stuck. Is this, I heard you say, this is, you know, the best thing to do is pray. Is this where really... That's all I, I don't have you to talk to. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so what I do, yeah, is I talk to God about all of these things. So, so when I'm feeling like really angry, I talk to God about how angry I am and what I'm angry about and why and, you know, like, I'll give you an example. Last, a few weeks ago, um, I came to realise that I've had the projections of a couple of million spirits at the moment who are projecting huge amounts of anger and rage at me and who want to kill me, right? And, and I went through this really terrible feelings of despair about that, you know, because I feel like I can't stop it. I feel like I can't uh, get away from it. And I, I went through this emotion of feeling like I was God's whipping boy, you know, like um, the feeling I had was that um, because of the choices that, were, that I made in the first century to connect to God, now I'm the focus of all of this really negative attention. And, and I even went down the stage of like, like I'm the only person historically that has a name, uh, a swear word named after him, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, like, I was in a dark place about all this, right? Really dark place. And, and so, you know, I'm there feeling like, yeah, everybody, as soon as they swear, they say, Jesus Christ, Jesus F from Christ, or whatever. And, and it's me they're aiming all that stuff at, right? That's what it feels like. And, and I've got that happening like 24 by 7, no matter whether I'm in the spirit world to sleep or whether I've got it here. And so I went through these really terrible emotions of like, when is this all going to stop? And I just went through three or four days where I just cried three or four days. Um, just saying to God over and over again, I just want this to stop, I just want this to stop, you know. And, uh, and it took me that long to get through that emotion. Like, um, so allow yourself to actually feel the emotion itself, and even if it's directed at God, you know, say exactly what it is that you're feeling. But talk to God. Like, it's a, this is all about, we're, the reason why we're doing all of this is because in the end, you'll have a relationship that's one-on-one -on -one at one with God. Right now, like it, at the moment, my biggest emotions are feelings that God has chosen me in order to be the focal point of anger and rage of the universe, basically, and that's what it feels like to me at the moment. And so that's what I'm talking about with God, like what that feels like. Yeah. Um, not while I have this terrible unworthiness within me, uh, because I do feel it sometimes, but um, the terrible unworthiness within me began because I had these projections of anger and, and so forth from the moment I reincarnated. So from the moment I reincarnated, these like millions of spirits being angry with Jesus and millions of people on earth being angry with Jesus just got funneled into me. And it's a, if you can imagine when you were, as soon as you were, uh, incarnated imagine from that moment on your mother hated you that happens right yeah. Yeah. like the many mothers feel really angry about being pregnant angry with their husbands about or person who's had sex with them about being pregnant and they focus they focus all of that rage on that child that's in them now imagine how you're going to feel when you're born you're going to feel this terrible feelings of unworthiness and terrible feeling that all you've been born for is to be kicked around, you know? And, and many of 
many of you have that emotion, right? Because of your mothers having the emotion they didn't want you. Now, for me, it felt like nobody on earth wanted me, including my mother, but also nobody on earth. Nobody in the spirit world wants, you know, wants to hear from Jesus anymore, basically. <laughs> and and that that causes like huge amounts that caused huge amounts of despair in me from the moment I was incarnated, reincarnated. And I'm dealing with that now. I'm re releasing those emotions. So if, if you can imagine like millions of people angry at you constantly, and you'll get a bit of an idea. How bad is it when one or two people in your life are angry with you? How do you feel about that? Imagine a million people angry with you, how you feel about that. Like a million people with you being the focus, they want to kill you because they feel so much hatred towards you. So it's pretty tough to absorb all of those emotions and then release them. People aren't really consciously when they're going to Jesus Christ, they're not really consciously directing that. No, I know. But many are consciously directing anger at me. Even in a session like this, many are consciously directing anger at me. Are you feeling it because it's um, covering up an underlying feeling of unworthiness? Yeah. Yeah, well, if I was feeling not unworthy, then I could have a million people angry with me and I wouldn't matter at all. Would it? No. Like I wouldn't have a hook into that. No. But because I'm feeling unworthy and they projecting that emotion straight away, I'm relating to that. I'll talk, what I wanted to do is talk a little bit more about my own process to you so you can understand what's happening with a lot of your own emotions in your day-to-day -day actions as well. That will help a lot, I think.